This is the Horse Radio Network. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1374, brought to you by Wintex Saddles. Today's tip is an excerpt from the Horses in the Morning monthly certified horsemanship episode. Show his show host Christy Landwehr and her guest Teddy Frank discuss solutions for horses prone to spooking and shying. So now let's go ahead and go to a different issue. How about those horses that shy or spook while they're in the arena or while they're out on the trail? What are some solution steps to help with that? Well, to be honest, I feel like horses that shy and spook are generally easier tra- from a training perspective to work with because you have motion, you have movement. And then it's really all about just kind of controlling that movement and You know, initially with young horses, I don't even really try to control the spook as much as I just try to let them experience life. And I just try to be a backpack on them. So as I'm, as I'm riding around, I'm looking for things that are uh, possibly going to spook my horse or possibly going to cause issues for them. And I don't necessarily take a direct approach, say it's a tarp on the ground or uh, you know, or you're crossing a creek or, you know, there's birds that fly up or something like that. I don't necessarily take a direct approach with a young horse right off the bat. Uh, more than anything, I just try and ride past whatever it is. And then little by little, uh, I'm going to take a little more direct approach, uh, but not one where I would have to really hammer on the horse to get them uh, through it. Now, that being said, there will be a time where uh, you have a lesson in in obedience and your horse is going to test you. And I find that most horses do that once or twice where they test your resolve. Are you really going to make me do this thing? And then they develop an attitude of obedience. Like if I obey uh, this rider, um, there's, there's good things that happen. I get a release. I get to relax. I get to catch my breath, whatever you choose to make your release. So um, the other part is, is really trying to, to take small steps. So if you've got a horse that, you know, every time I get them near, say a a pink jacket or whatever it is, that's on the fence. If I just try and and break steps down so that I get my horse into the arena with the the pink jacket. And then a little bit later, I try and get them on the same side, you know, let's say it's hanging on a fence post. Then I try and get them on the same side of the arena. And I just start riding laps in that arena. And of course the horse is going to shy away around that, uh, that pink jacket. Little by little, I can get them a little closer and a little closer and a little closer. And if you take that a- approach and kind of play the long game with them, um, pretty soon, I mean, they're, they're not a horse that, that comes out in the morning is uh, generally they're If they're speaking, it's because they're concerned about their own safety. But little by little, as they, uh, as they start to build some trust and some confidence in you, uh, they will actually start to to develop confidence in the spooky things too. Then another little trick that I use sometimes is actually getting them to move uh, whatever it is they're scared of. And so that may sound kind of strange to to some folks, but uh, the way I got onto this is actually working cattle out here in Oregon. When um, you have a horse, you know, people talk about their horses being uh, getting used to cattle or um, being exposed to cattle is a, is a word that I hear a lot. And, you know, I, I start a whole lot of colts and it's really seldom that I have to, to do much um, by way of getting a horse used to cattle. Mostly I go out with a group of, of men and we, we ride out and uh, mostly men, I should say, and we ride out and, and move a, a group of cattle and I just bring that horse along for the ride and put them right in with the rest of the horses. And little by little, they're doing whatever it is, uh, you know, that we were setting out to do. But as they move those cows, they build confidence. They learn that I can push this cow. And so I reverse engineered that a little bit and took it into the arena and found that if I had a horse that was spooky about a, about a, a big exercise ball, well, if I just rolled that ball along in front of me as I led that horse, little by little, they would start to understand that they could move that ball and they would develop confidence in that. So horses are really aware of things coming towards them 
but they're also aware of things moving away towards them. And they, they kind of enjoy that idea of moving something off of them. It's like the same way they would maybe move a buddy around in a herd that they were a little more, uh, a little higher on the pecking order over. Uh, that's something that they, they seem to enjoy. And it's a great way to build confidence in a horse that may speak. That may have been a bit of a long answer, but, uh, I think I hope hope that uh, some of your listeners kind of get the gist of what we're we're after in that. I think that's a really great idea. When we first moved to um, Colorado, we have a lot of mountain bikes that we share the trails with. And I had a horse that did not like those very much. So I had my husband get on his mountain bike and we chased him. And pretty soon my horse was like, this is super fun chasing John on the mountain bike. I like this. And guess who wasn't afraid of mountain bikes anymore? So I think that's a great idea that you just mentioned. You and your horse can enjoy all the benefits of a lightweight, splash-proof, durable, and easy-care Wintech saddle. Featuring world-leading innovation for your horse's comfort and performance, the Care Cushion System, and the revolutionary Easy Change Fit Solution. It's easy to see that Wintech is as serious about your performance as you are. Whether simply enjoying time together with your horse or competing at any level, there's a model in the range for you. Stop by your local retailer and have a sit in a Wintech saddle or find out more about the new and improved Wintech Specialist Confirmation Saddles at WintechSaddles.us. That's WintechSaddles.us. Well, there you have it. You can find links to today's guests as well as lots more tips at HorseTipDaily.com. This podcast was made possible through the generous support of Wintech Saddles and listeners like you. Learn how you can help support Horse Radio Network programming. There's about 17 different ones on there. And qualify for perks by going to horsetipdaily.com and clicking on the Become an Honorer banner. This is Coach Jen, and I will be back again soon with another tip. So until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show. <laughs>